In this video I'm going to talk about where I am in my hybrid corn project and how we got there. My goal with this project was to produce a popcorn that was ornamental but still popped well. And then later on I added variegated foliage. In 2017 I grew glass gem corn and I was impressed by how many colors you could get on one ear. That fall I popped some and I found out that it popped but it didn't pop all that well so I wanted to improve that. So in 2018 I crossed some glass gem corn with some popcorn. The two ears to the left are glass gem corn. One ear is mostly red and the other ear is shades of blue and purple. I also took some popcorn from the grocery store and grew some of that out in the garden and this is an ear that it produced. And the last ear to the right is a cross between the two. I planted the grocery store popcorn several weeks before the glass gem corn and once the glass gem corn started to produce tassels I cut the tassels off of the grocery store popcorn. That way any crossing that would occur would be from the glass gem corn to the popcorn and not the other way around. As you can see, this uh, cross has colored kernels all the way through it. In 2019 I planted the seeds from the cross that I did in 2018 and this is what I got. In 2020 I planted the seeds from the cross that I did in 2019 and I also planted some japonica corn which has variegated foliage. That's the year that I crossed the two types together. This is what an ear of pure japonica corn looks like. It's very dark red, almost black. Although most of these ears show just a tiny bit of influence from the ornamental popcorn, one ear in particular showed quite a bit of difference. As you can see, this ear shows several different shades of the base color. So we know that that one stalk of ornamental plant corn had some slightly different genetics than the other stalks. As well as being interested in the ornamental qualities of this cross, I also wanted it to pop good, so I did some test popping of the darkest ear. And I was a little bit surprised that it really did pop very well. Although it popped well, the taste was subpar compared to my ornamental popcorn. In 2021, I planted the seeds from that 2020 cross and this is what it produced. There was a lot of variety in the color of the ears and they did pop reasonably well. Since the variegated foliage was a recessive trait, none of this generation had any variegated foliage. But I saved the seeds from these and I planted them this year. As you would expect, that recessive phenotype is showing up in this year's corn. And some of them look pretty good, like this one. This year I'll be saving the best looking ears from the best looking plants. I'm also hoping that this year we'll have more variability in the colors of the kernels on the ears. But we won't know how that works out for another couple of months when we get to harvest. This year I'm going with quality over quantity, but next year I'll plant a lot more, I'm thinking so I can see which ones work out and which ones don't and keep saving the best ears from the best plants. Let us know what you think of this project so far. If you're just now finding this channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.